Drive Ignition. This is Actar's Reviews from Anime to Figures and Beyond. And welcome to another episode of Actars Figure Reviews. It's time once again, ladies and gentlemen, for more Yui Moines. I mean, seriously, who can get enough of Yui? I know I for one can't, and that's why I'm exceptionally glad to have Figma Yui Hirasawa right here in front of me. And when I first reviewed Mobib Yui Hirasawa some time back, the idea of a Kaon Figma figure was indeed very, very far fetched. I mean, Good Smile Company and Max Factory had no indication or inclination whatsoever to produce a Kaon figure in the Figma line. But then they came out of left field and just announced Figma Yui Hirasawa barely two weeks before her release date on the 30th of January. Now, why the sudden announcement? Was, were they holding out for Wonderfest? Was it a response of direct competition to the Mobib line? Well, we will never know, but whatever the case, I am absolutely glad that the Kaon characters are coming out for the Figma line because with the Figma line, quality is assured. And with that, Mio and Tsumugi's announcement soon followed, and I suppose it's only a matter of time before we hear of Figma Ritsu and Figma Azusa. One thing I have to say though about the Kaon Figmas, they are popular and that is a huge, huge understatement. These figures are definitely the most popular figures I personally have ever seen. The pre-orders on most of the reputable online stores such as Hobby Link Japan, Hobby Search, Ami Ami were gone, were filled up in mere minutes. BAM! Pre-orders were gone. And I'm really really thankful that my local store actually stocks up figmas and managed to save me one. If not, I wouldn't be able to provide you with this review. Alright, so wasting no more time, let's take a look at Figma Yui Hirasawa. First off, we see that the packaging has the design of her classroom, although it's not that evident. Nice pink colour scheme, Yui Hirasawa, school uniform version, music notes and travel clefs and uh, bass clefs, so and so forth. No, there's no bass clefs there, but whatever case, here we have Figma Yui Hirasawa striking a pose. Really nice pink colour scheme in the background with the words k -on. Seems to be a theme recently. And at the back, we see the... We see the obligatory collage of pictures featuring Yui in various poses along with the accessories that she comes with. Good Smile Company, Max Factory, uh, side Figma once again, and do note the sticker of authenticity right over here to the corner. And that's pretty much all I can say about the box. So let's open it up and take a look at what this box has to offer. And here we have Figma Yui Hirasawa in her plastic packaging, accessories laid out once again, very very neatly around the figure itself. And we see the trend continue that was started by uh, Figma Reimu Hakure. The backing of the package features a perforated punch out of the floor of the stage that can be used together with your D stage to give it a more live concert flavour. And last but not least, included behind the backing is a little plastic pouch with instruction sheets, the guitar straps, the guitar case straps, and a whole plethora of faces. And this is actually a water slide-on decal sheet as opposed to the stickers that the previous Figma figures came with. And I'm going to take a look at this along with the figure and everything else in just a second. And here is Moi personified Yui Hirasawa in Figma form. Now I know many people have been wanting me to do a comparison between Figma Yui and Mobib Yui but because I want to review Figma Yui separately, I'll be doing that in another video. But just overall, Figma Yui looks a whole, whole lot better. Why? Because just the figure has much more details in it and it's much more dynamic. The hair has a lot more detail in it, there are folds on the clothes and even her skirt shows signs of wind blowing through them, they're actually signs of movement as compared to the very very static Mobip figure. The soft PVC, the whole blazer is made of soft PVC and so is the skirt. So before we take a look at the articulation of Figma Yui, let's just take a look at the accessories which come with this figure. Let me just get the basics out of the way first. We have the Figma stand, the Figma base. The Figma bag that's exceptionally handy to place all those pesky accessories inside. 
And like any other Figma, she comes with a whole rack of exchangeable hands, a ton of UE specific exchangeable hands here, uh, including those that allow her to hold the guitar, a UE signature hello, and of course one that hold, has her holding her guitar pick. Figma UE also comes with a little stand option part that will allow you to place the stand in or peg the stand in from the side. And now again, I'm going to ask the question, what would Yui be without her signature guitar? And yep, the guitar looks so much nicer in Figma form. It's really nicely detailed for a guitar the size, and it does look better than that of the Mobit one, though just slightly. The Cherry Sunburst color scheme on the Gibson Les Paul Classic looks much more closer, much brighter, much more vivid, and definitely more accurate to the original animated counterpart. However, once again, there are no strings, but I can't ask for the impossible. My wish was really granted with Azon Yui Hirasawa's guitar. Uh, one little complaint I do have about this guitar is that it is far, far too thin. And I only can think of one reason for that, and that is to accommodate her next accessory, her guitar case. Oh yes, they even included her guitar case. Now how awesome is that? The guitar case itself is made of soft PVC on the top with hard PVC at the bottom. The guitar case is actually openable and you can't even slide Yui's guitar in that and that's of course the reason for which I think that the guitar is made so thin. The guitar can completely go in and this is just a wonderful accessory. It just adds so much more play value to the figure and that makes it that much more real. So the straps for the guitar and the guitar case are included as well. There are two short ones and one long one. The long one is for the guitar and it packs into this peg and this peg. While the two short ones pack to the guitar case via these three pegs. Next up, she comes with a pair of exchangeable shoes. She comes with an exchangeable face that shows her in a happy expression. And she also comes with an exchangeable hairpiece. But this hairpiece is only for use with this exchangeable face. Now, this face is blank and it can accommodate a myriad of expressions. This is a water decal sheet. Uh, modelers, plasma makers, you may be familiar with this, but this is actually one of my first times I've actually encountered a uh, water decal marking. Nearly every expression she shows in the show is here. I mean, the options is definitely mind-blowing. And compare that to the previous Figma figures where they came with sticker sheets. Now, I believe that the water decals are much, much more uh, permanent than that of stickers, and I have much more faith with these water decals. So, uh, instructions, instructions, along with the water decal sheet, we have instructions for you to place the, the straps onto the guitar and guitar case. We've already seen that. And it also includes another instruction sheet on how to apply the water, de water slide decals on to the blank face. So let's try that out, shall we? And so here are the fruits of my attempts at putting on a water slide decal. These are much, much better than that of stickers. Seriously, they are so much more durable. And while they are a, quite a hassle to put on, it looks just as if it was printed on. And bringing back Yui Hirasawa, let's take a look at the articulation of the figure itself. For the head, full range of motion there. Left, right, up and down, no complaints for me whatsoever. Arms, forwards and backwards, in and out elbows they can move forwards and backwards wrists they can swivel the hand can move forwards and backwards as well she does have a waist joint that can spin 360 degrees and I did forget to mention but this is also accomplishable with the mobit figure legs can move forwards and backwards they can swing in and out they can rotate side to side to a certain extent knees they can move forwards and back feet they can move forwards and back and you can also swivel side to side so in conclusion, Figma Yui Hirasawa is another great addition to the Figma line and is a stellar starter to the Figma k line. With great accessories, details, articulation, accuracy, what more could you want? I am definitely going to pick up the rest of the band and I highly recommend you do so as well. 
However, as I said in the beginning, these figures are selling like hotcakes in a blizzard. If you can get the chance to pick them up, do so. So, this is Zeta saying, see you guys in the next episode.